Okay, let it go. Oh dear. Uh, that was ominous. All right, we are back to a little banger known as Jenny LeClue Detective Vu first video went up. You guys enjoyed it, wanted to see a bit more, so hey, let's go ahead and do a bit more. If you guys enjoyed enough, we'll do the entire playthrough. No problem with me, just let me know in the comments, I'm leaving a thumbs up in the old video. If you haven't watched the first part, upper right corner of the screen now, bam! Pop the screen, pop a link, pop something. To tell these people how to watch the first part. For now though, we have the case of the missing papers. Mom was acting pretty weird today, no wonder. It's been a year, but it still hurts. What hurts? I don't know. I'm assuming maybe Papa? Maybe Papa passed away? Who knows? For now though, let's continue. We've got to find these papers. Now, I pose, well, I didn't really pose a question, but I mentioned I'll do bad choices. Everybody in the comments were like, don't do bad choices. No bad choices. Just do whatever's natural to you, so you got it. Looking rather trim today, Ethan. New diet, oh, that's cute. He's a, he's a skeleton. Of course he's going to be trim all the time. What's the matter? Lost your funny bone? Ah! <laughs> oh, that skeleton is gonna have a bone to pick with us. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Search. It's one of those students' term papers. You can tell by their terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Ma must have put them behind a chalkboard. Pick up papers. Look at that. Found you. Time to get out of here. All right. Case closed. Conclusion, wasted time. All right. We're off to a great start here as a detective. I love how the game looks. So colorful, but also very dark when it's got to be dark when we saw that creepy guy with the tooth. What the hell happened? Yeah, exactly. The garbage has exploded. What a mess, I should investigate. Oh, yo, is it like Halloween time in the game too? Yes! Man, I think I mentioned with the first video, but Halloween time, like October, November, favorite time of the year. You got Halloween spooky time, which I love, and then November, you got Thanksgiving, you know, if you're, you know, in America anyway. Turkey time, it's great. And sure, next month after that, you got Christmas, which is gifts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the last three months of the year, honestly, really, really good. Bonfire celebration Saturday. But I just love the fact that we're playing a game that's like, you know, coincides with what's happening right now. You know, spooky season. It's great. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, I saw that. That kind of popped out to me when I saw the explosion. But, you know, just look around. Little bats over there. Search this out. What do we got here? Pick up scrap. Arthurton. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. Mm. The case of the puzzling postcard. All right. We'll keep our eye out. Hopefully it's they're as obvious as that one was. Maybe there's one pinned here for no reason whatsoever. The notice board was, a, was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says a good detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details and you'll find clarity in the chaos. All right, tap, 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 tap. Mystic, oh, no, no, go back. Myst uh, Mystic Healing with Gloria. Okay, we don't need that. Monthly Meetup, Stargazer Society, textbooks for sale, lightly chewed. Papa Party Prod, Papa Part, stay, keep it there. Papa Party Project this Tuesday. Missing Cat answers to Trevor. Trevor the Missing Cat. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? What'd you find? Oh. Town notice curfew. Stay safe, stay indoors, 9 p.m. to sunrise. 
please part in our mess while we improve your power grid. During this period, you may experience the minor inconvenience of daily blackouts. Oh no, they've extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise? It's ridiculous. But necessary, pout power outages have become a regular occurrence in town. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. I wonder if that's anything to do with that um, guy from the start with the tower from the water. Alright, let's see here. We can zoom in. Do we need to zoom in for anything in particular? Well, you know, a good detective looks around, making sure everything's fine, no? Alright. Workman. Left! Left! <laughs> Trying to put the head on the Dean's thing or what? I said left, damn it! Hey, what part of left are you having trouble with? Am I my left or your left? Am I left? Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes, nothing will make me happier. If you're not careful, we're going to have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... busy. Should probably leave them to it. <laughs> I like how I instantly went to my anno uh, a very annoyed New Yorker accent. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm walking here. Alright, let's uh, proceed. You guys will get it. You guys will get it. There, there he is. Hello, Mr. Strasberry. How are you today? Les Strasberry, beloved Dean of Gumboldt, everyone's surrogate uncle, laughs like Santa Claus. Oh, jolly gentlemen, the Dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. Oh, what do you think, Jenny? The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumboldt, and the townspeople had spared no expense in the tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasberry. Oh, it's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Great excuse for a party, though. What will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Oh, things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. What do you mean, we? Do you think they've made my belly too big? No, it's the... <laughs> be nice, be honest. <laughs> I, I, I said I'm not going bad choices only, but, um, you know. This isn't really bad, you're just being honest. As a matter of fact, honesty is the best policy, so in reality I'm being good. That's a good choice. It might be all those bronze pancakes, Mr. Strasberry. No legacy is so rich as honesty, exactly. You are a clever one, Jenny Leclou. Speaking of which... Have you, have you been practicing your detective skills? Have I? Of course. Always. Well then, I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. A fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. Respect your elders, respect them some other time. Go ahead, let's do everything. Well, okay. Anything for you, Mr. Strasberry. Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Dean Strasberry. All right, clues to find. Let's look around. Anything on your mustache that might tell me what you ate? I, you know, it gets in the way. You sometimes have a crumb left or two in there, maybe a little bit of a sauce, you never know. The Gumboldt logo. Basketball guy, a basketball game today. Number one fan. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumboldt Moonbeams. And not just because his son was a prominent figure on the team. Well, a bench warmer anyway. <laughs> He's still on the team though. Powder. Oh, dandruff. No hair. Sugar. Oh, boys. Whatever it was, it was nice and sweet. 
It can't be dandruff, he has no hair. Unless it's from, like, his mustache, which would be kind of disturbing. Can a mustache get dandruff? No, that's impossible, right? Because it, it comes from the scalp, right? It's dandruff, and it's accumulation of dead skin. It's kind of intriguing now that I think about it. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. Oh, it was a nice donut. That's probably what it was. What else have we got here? Oh, oh, oh. We got a spoon. Spoon instead of pen. Forgetful. Under stress. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. I'm thinking a nice sugary donut with some coffee. You can't go wrong. It's a perfect combination. Do I need that? No? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It seems like... Aha. Uh -huh. What do we got here? Shaky penmanship. Unusually cluttered. Lots of revisions sell doubt. A thick bundle of note cards poked out for the team's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? Literally and figuratively. You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasberry. Oh, I, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Oh, your mother suggested I keep it short. And quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. Okay. Intriguing. So, a little bit of nervousness, too. Does it have to do with the retirement? Maybe. We're missing a button, too, huh? It's red. Fairly intriguing. Oh, jelly donut, maybe. Powdery jelly donut. Blood? Salty? Not blood. No, sweet. Seeds, texture, odor, fruit. It's jam. The Dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Three more to go. Time. Solid gold, money. Old, like so old, at least 100 years, family heirloom. Nearly an hour is slow. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Something going on with the Dean here, boys. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. I is it? Oh my! <laughs> that explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. My head's not screwed on today. <laughs> Literally, if we saw the statue. Thank goodness you noticed. Oh, I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh, really? She didn't mention anything to me? Oh, well, uh, of course she wouldn't. It's nothing important. Why are you meeting then? It's just, um, uh, she's helping me finalize my, uh, my plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, th that's it. My retirement party, thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Shawsbury? Oh, of course, now. Let me fix my watch before I forget. Mm-hmm. Something's afoot here. Now, where were we? You know, as long as you're not giving it to my mom, my man, it's all good. Let's see. What about this ring that we saw, this bling? Shiny. Gumbled logo. Class ring. Maybe club or fraternity. IPSA Sensia Potesta Est. Looks like Latin. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it to my son. The Strasberry family had been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? N knowledge itself is power. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. Alright. So, um... Now, whatever we're missing here might not be so obvious, but let's look around. Oh, maybe it would be obvious. Have you been running through grass or something? Right, that's what I figured. For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. His work as a botanist was renowned. Okay. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mrs. Strasberry. Uh, well, I, I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I've been doing my daily calisthenics. No, no, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. 
What? Oh. <laughs> I think I know where that was probably going. Hitch, hitchhikers. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clingy. I will say I'm looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. So, what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Strawsberry. I got everything I need to solve this mystery. Okay. So, the what did the Dean eat for breakfast? Well, we know we have... Uh, shirt button. There's a large dark red jam stain on the Dean's shirt button, so that we do need. The powdered sugar. Likely used to stir coffee, powdered sugar, pastry, pocket watch, one or two donuts, tasty jam filling, spill on shirt. Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisted of one, maybe two donuts. Bingo bango. Of course, you know, you gotta have that coffee with the donut. What else can I tell what else can I tell about the Dean's morning? We'll definitely say button being or the shirt being unbuttoned. That's one. Also an hour slow. His mind is somewhere else. And finally. The spoon rather than the pen. That's what I want. Okay. Normally carries a pen. 45 minutes slow, forgot to wind. All signs of a distracted man, rare for the Dean, preoccupied. The Dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch, the act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off, which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. Bingo bango! You had a donut for breakfast? Yes? I'm guessing. Oh. Oh. Raspberry. How did you know? Yeah! Alright. That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Trosberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. Oh my my, you, you really are a little clue. Your father would be so proud. Thanks. Oh, okay. So the, the incident about a year ago, whatever. Papa. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. And I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? The writer. Pardon? Uh, uh, nothing. See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny Licklew. Alright. So, um, we Dean Strasberry. Sure is nervous today. Have a ringing phone, though. Just as we're walking by. Well, that's not creepy at all. In her short time as a detective, Jenny had learned never to ignore a ringing phone. Alright. Hello? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Really, this again? It's me, Jenny. We don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. Two hours later. This place will do- oh, he was next to us the entire time. <laughs> Conspiracy theorists, frequently jailed for public outbursts, questionable grasp of reality. Everyone in town knew that CJ was mad, even dangerous. He's not dangerous, he just doesn't accept things at face value. Sure, he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least he's passionate about something. CJ and Jenny certainly indulge each other's obsessions. But most of all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little kid. CJ, why don't we go through all that if you're right here? Can't be too careful. 
Are you sure you weren't followed? Who would be following me? Shh. This place is compromised. We don't have long to talk. I'm going to give this guy that, that voice the entire way through. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? What? You called me! Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. You had a rough idea of where you were headed, but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get there. I'll help you figure it out. The interrogation of CJ. Alright. This maniac over here. Is that something we can check out? Yes. Aliens are among us. He's like Mulder. Tucked in socks. Not a good hiding place. What's that sticking out of your sock? Haha. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message. Classified intel. It's proof, Jenny. It's happening again. And it's time for us to join the fight. Aliens are among us! This doesn't look like the kind of pamphlet he usually makes. It's been professionally printed. Could CJ finally be onto something? Hmm. Can we rotate? Shoot? No. That's as far as you're going. Oh, we could flip you, though. Join the Space Cadets today. Mail in your application and get your official PopFlex ray gun and flashlight in just 11 to 15 weeks. Oh, it's just part of a cereal box. A cereal box? From another space-time continuum? Nope. Just a regular cereal box. It's not for a toy. But why? Why would it just be lying there in the trash? <laughs> I like this guy already. No, it's a compass! How about that? Hidden in plain sight. Strange symbols. Cracked glass. Wandering needle. I knew he was hiding something. A compass with strange symbols where the cardinal direction should be. Looks broken. Where did you get that compass? Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me. To find the truth. You're not gonna find anything with that. The needle's wandering all over the place. A bit like you. It's searching. For what? For them. It's this town, Jenny. It's Arderton. They're here. Among us. And this proves it. Or it could just be broken. Could be. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> well, you could try getting it fixed, and that would probably tell you if it's uh, the thing or if it's just broken. One more thing to find, huh? What's in your hand? There it is. Whose birthday? How old is CJ? And what does CJ stand for? Carl Johnson from San Andreas. Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Whose birthday? Clarkson's birthday. But Clankson, Clankson, not Cra Clarkson. But Clankson died on his birthday. Assassination? Possibly. Abduction? Almost certainly. CJ, the card. Oh, this? It's for you. An impossible shot. Died instantly. No suspects. No human suspects anyway. Now, triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible. It's got my fingerprints all over it. So what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush-hush. They let you back in? Not yet. <laughs> but I've got this hat now. It wasn't your head that needed that covering. No, for disguise. I, I know, CJ. W what is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny, 
You sound crazy. It's, I'm just preparing my defense for that hearing. Is this because you try to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize poodle? No. That was last week. It's because I peed in the water tower. CJ, that's gross. And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from my control chemicals. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ was gone. CJ, I know you're standing behind the phone booth. I just watch you walk over there. No, I'm not. Okay, then. See you later. <laughs> all right. All right, CJ's the best character. Okay, can we all come to that conclusion? He's the best character? All right, and we are leaving campus. Lake Nowhere, one mile. Let's go. Alright, so I do believe we are out of time, guys. I'm going to start wrapping it up here for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Jenny LeClue, we have now meeting some more of the characters. Hey, stop! Hold on, before we continue, i got to do my New York thing. Perfect! Hold it right there! Okay, let it go! Is this a sign of things to come? Oh dear. Uh, that was ominous. Alright, so as I was saying, we are here. We're gonna wrap it up for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more, do an entire playthrough, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. We'll definitely come back for more. We have met some of the cast. We got a couple of things now to note and the ominous thing at the end there with uh, Dean Gumbold. Does that happen for a reason? Yes. If you saw the first video with the opening trailer, you probably know what. I will catch you next time.